Alduin is real, and he ain't. Akatosh by Thromgar Ironhead A poorly spelled essay from a proud Nord on the difference between Alduin and Akatosh. As my dad used to say, Imperials are idiots. That is why I am writing this book. I ain't never wrote a book before, and I do not reckon to write one again. But sometimes a man must do what a man must do. And what I must do is set the record straight. About the god called Akatosh and the dragon called Alduin. They ain't the same thing, no matter what their imperials might say or how they might wish it to be so. My dad was never one of the gods, but my ma was. She worshipped all the divines and taught me lots of things. So I know a thing or two about Akatosh, just as much as any imperial. I know he was the first of all the gods to take shape in the beginning place, and I know he has the shape of a dragon. My dad even told me the story about Martin Septim, and the things what happened when the gates to oblivion opened. Septim turned into the spirit of Akatosh and killed Maroon Dagon. Now, I don't know about you, but any dragon that fights the Prince of Destruction is okay by me. Now, I hope you understand the problem. Akatosh is good. Everyone from Nord to Imperial knows that. But Alduin, he ain't good. He's the opposite of good. That Alduin is evil through and through. So you see, Akatosh and Alduin can't be one and the same. Growing up as a lad in Skyrim, I heard all the stories. Told to me by my dad, who was told by his dad, who was told by his dad, and so on. And one of those stories was about Alduin. But see, he was not Akatosh. He was another dragon and a real one at that. Akatosh is some kind of spirit dragon, I think, when he bothers to be a dragon at all. And not a god living in some kind of god place like Oblivion. But Alduin is a real dragon with flesh and teeth and a mean streak longer than the White River. And there was a time when Alduin tried to rule over all of Skyrim with his other dragons. In the end, it took some mighty strong heroes to finally kill Alduin and be done with his whole sorry story. So I got to ask, does that sound like Akatos to you? No, friend. No, it does not. And so I, Thromgar Ironhead, do firmly say, with the utmost conviction, that Alduin is real, and he ain't Akatosh. <laughs>